How many people do we think Morrow has in there? A small army. Leftovers from a Chinatown gang and some ex-cons he recruited while he was in prison. We need to move in. Press is everywhere on this. We can't afford to be seen working with Daisy or Reyes. And he's a vigilante killer. It's a little more complicated than that, but yes. He's also nearly unstoppable, and he's on our side. And what happens when he's not? Then we deal with him. But right now, the reality is this. Eli Morrow just wiped out an entire S.H.I.E.L.D. tack team with a few shards of carbon that he created out of thin air. And that's just what we've seen. What else is he capable of? We need the big guns on this one, and Yo-Yo, Daisy, and Reyes are the biggest guns we have. And what about the science team? And I'm talking about Ada specifically. I mean, she did, after all, bring you and Agent Fitz back from, well, wherever the hell you were. If the similar technology is in play, she could have a solve. What? You disagree? I don't, actually. Hey, all cards on the table. Ada's an android. She's... What did you just say? An android. Had me fooled, too. But that's... Whew. Okay. I mean, forget about the fact that I was mildly attracted to her. That totally goes against the Sokovia Accords. Doesn't anyone remember Ultron? <sighs> was this Radcliffe's doing? Sir, we really don't have much time. The point is, a good director needs to know what assets he has at his disposal. And in this case, I think Ada could be an asset. A risky one, but it's your call. Agent May, go to Dr. Radcliffe's lab and get Ada. I want her on this mission. We'll dismantle her afterwards. What about my assault team? You got the green light. But Coulson, keep Daisy out of sight.